What's up guys, my name is Rock and welcome back to my channel. Time to preview another Tottenham's game, this time it's the FA Cup home game against Millwall. I know I didn't make any video specifically for the review of Everton's game, but I will quickly comment on the game and then move on to the player ratings. First half, it was all Spurs dominating the game, Harry Kane scored the worldie, could have had one or two more, but otherwise chance after chance for Tottenham and Everton didn't have a shot on goal in the first half so basically this tells you all you need to know about the first half. Second half was actually very similar to the first one, Harry Kane took advantage of Schneiderlin's mistake and scored for the second time, could have had the hat trick but I don't know why the hell did he try to chip the goalkeeper. Tottenham controlled the game and Everton really came alive only in the last 15 minutes. And yeah, because it's not a normal Tottenham's game without suicidal thoughts or a couple of mental breakdowns, Lukaku had to score in the 81st minute. He was actually very lucky because Vertonghen slipped and he was basically one on one with Loris. And then Delhi scored in the 91st minute and my thoughts were game over, we got it done, 3 points. But wait, I'm a Tottenham supporter, of course it's not gonna be that easy. Just 30 seconds after free kick for Everton, Valencia was totally unmarked, 3-2 and another 90 hectic seconds followed but we survived 3 points and we could move on. And now to the player ratings. I will give Loris a 6 out of 10, neither of the goals were his fault, he maybe could have reacted better when Lukaku scored but overall he was ok. His distribution was solid, he didn't attempt any stupid passes or tricks he sometimes tends to, so yeah, 6 out of 10 for me. Dyer also gets a 6 out of 10 for me, he did make a couple of nice tackles, especially the one on Tom Davis when Everton's midfielder would have been through on goal, but second goal is totally his fault, he fell asleep when he should have been marking Valencia, so yeah, 6 out of 10 for me. Alderweireld gets an 8 for me, he kept Lukaku quiet for most of the game, made a few nice tackles and clearances as well, would have been without a mistake if it wasn't for the second Everton's goal where he should have reacted better, but overall solid performance. Vertonghen gets a 7 for me, his slip fortunately wasn't as costly as Gerrard's, apart from that slip he played well and even showed he has some Lionel mess in him with those two dribbles which almost resulted in a goal. Vertonghen gets a 7 for me, his slip fortunately wasn't as costly as Gerrard's, apart from that slip he played well and even showed he has some Lionel mess in him with those two dribbles which almost resulted in a goal. Vanyama and Dembele proved that they are only humans as they weren't as good as they were against Stoke, misplaced a couple of passes and gave away a few balls but all in all commanding performance from a midfield duo. Vanyama hit the crossbar and Dembele challenged Schneiderlin who then gave the ball away for the second Tottenham's goal and Dembele was later on replaced by Harry Wings. Both get 8 out of 10 in my opinion. I really wanted to see Ankudu in the starting lineup but he didn't even get a minute to play. Davis started off a bit slow but was very lively in the first half and even though his passes weren't all that accurate, the one that mattered was on point and he even got an assist for Kane's first goal. His crossing was mostly on point and on the defensive side he put in a few nice tackles and challenges. In my opinion solid all around gain, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for me. I don't know when was the last time I got excited when we had a free kick. Ericsson's free kicks aren't what they used to be and it's so so sad and even corners were weak. Pale performance from our cr most creative player. He did run a lot but his efforts weren't of any success as he went quiet for most of the game so he gets a 6 out of 10 for me. Ali was quiet in the first half similar to Ericsson, he did come alive though in the second half winning the ball for the second Tottenham goal and scoring the third, his usual decent performance so he gets an 8 out of 10 from me. Although he did miss 2 or 3 one on one chances he made up for it and scored 2 beautiful goals, taking his total tally to 19, man of the match and player of the month. I mean was there really ever any doubt? Wings was an impact sub as always. He's getting some important minutes under his belt and I'm really pleased from what I've seen so far this season. 
He's a real talent and I'm glad Pochettino is patient with him. Brilliant assist for Delhi's goals and he gets a 7 out of 10 from me. Janssen and Sissoko played 15 minutes combined and didn't have enough time to show something so they didn't do enough to get graded. And now to the FA Cup game, what can we expect from Millwall? They are currently 6th in League 1 but they are the informed team as they've lost only one game from their last 15. Their best weapon will be the striker duo where Lee Gregory and Steve Morrison scored 29 goals combined already this season. Millwall are also widely known for their fans. They are abusive and aggressive and nobody likes them because they just try to destroy as much as possible inside and outside the stadium. But at the end of the day I think police will have more work to do with Millwall fans than our goalkeeper will with Millwall striker. Mentioning our goalkeeper, let's get to my starting 11 for this game. I don't think Pochettino will go with much weaker side to be honest because after that game players will have a week to rest as we don't have any European games left to play this season. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get in. So yeah, let's get to the starting 11 that I would pick. In goal, Michel Vorm, he's our cup goalkeeper, so yeah, for me, Michel Vorm goes in goal. I would give Toby a little bit of rest and go with the back three of Wimmer, Vertonghen and Dyer. In the midfield, I will go with Davis, Vanyama, Wings and Trippier. Dembele and Walker definitely deserve some rest and Trippier and Wings deserve their chances. So yeah, this, this is my midfield. In the attacking midfield, I wouldn't experiment too much and simply go with Eriksen and Ali who've been superb this season. Up front, I will go with Hyung Min Son. He's played well this season and scored some amazing goals and Harry Kane can get some rest too and if we have any problems with Millwall, simply bring on Harry Kane. It would certainly be nice to win this game and book ourselves a place at Wembley and I'm going with a 3-0 victory to us. So this is the end of my video, you know what to do if you haven't already. Click a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys soon.